Mommy, Are You My Oma? Written and illustrated by Roxanne Marie Lee. For Marissa. Once upon a time, bed-bouncing twins with the most darling freckles in the universe were jumping. Their little voices chimed together. Mommy, tell us a bedtime story. So their mommy said, settle down and I will tell you. Once upon a time, a cartoon reading boy with the most interesting comic book in the galaxy was imagining. His Oma said, lie down and I will tell you a story. Though he complained, his Oma opened by saying, imagine this. Once upon a time, a sleep-fighting girl with the most alert mind in the solar system was thinking. She begged, na, tell me a story. Her na sang softly, think about this. Once upon a time, a globe-studying boy with the best memory on earth was learning. He requested, Huyo, tell me a story. His Huyo said, remember this. Once upon a time, a bird-loving girl with the kindest heart on the continent was playing. She pleaded with her father, Pita, tell me a story. He reminded his daughter, I've already told you many stories. But he patiently cleared his throat and chanted, meditate on this. Wait, interrupted one of the twins with the darling freckles. Why is her daddy tucking her in? Every family is unique, and so is every story, Mommy explained. Their mommy continued where she had left off. Now Pita continued with his next story. Once upon a time, a glove knitting girl with the most precise stitches in the country was finishing up. She wondered, Ati, will you tell me a story? So her Ati answered, yes, it goes like this. Upon a time, a stargazing boy with the sharpest eye in the city was watching the sky. He murmured, Baba, tell me a story. So his Baba began, picture this. Once upon a time, an, I Once upon a time, an island roaming girl with the coolest blue tattoo in the neighborhood was yawning. She rocked her sister's basket and said, Waiya, tell us a story. So her Waiya whispered, Listen to this. Once upon a time, a soccer-playing teenager with the heaviest eyelids in the house was falling asleep. He said his prayers and sighed, I remember the story Papi and Mami used to tell me. It went like this. Once upon a time. But he could not finish because he was fast asleep. And so were Woyea's weary girls. And so was Baba's observant boy. And so was Ati's precise knitter. And so was Pita's playful daughter. So was Huyo's studious son. And so was Na's thoughtful child. And so was Oma's imaginative kid. And so were Mommy's bouncy twins. The But I'm not sleeping, protested one of the twins. Mommy, are you my Oma? Mommy answered, yes, and I'm your Na, and your Huyo, and your Ati, and your Waea, and your Mame. The little girl laughed and asked, the little girl asked, but not my Pita or Baba or Papi. Mommy laughed. I'm going to call you the twin with the most clever questions in the universe. Now go to sleep. The girl giggled and declared, the end. Where do you live? What do you call your mommy and daddy? And where is each star? I hope that you and your children enjoyed this reading of Mommy, Are You My Oma? written and illustrated by me. Please show your support for first-time authors by going to Amazon.com and purchasing yourself a copy. And most library websites, probably the one in your community, has a place where you can use your library card to suggest that they make a purchase of something not already in their collection. The ISBN number will be in the description if they request it. I thank you so much for your support.